Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So it looks like we had a whole raft of PMI data already this morning from Japan and across in China. And the final PMI number actually came in just slightly uh, better than expected. The forecast was 49.6, the actual was 49.8. And following on from yesterday's exuberance, where we saw most global markets manage to pull some gains for the end of the quarter. Uh, if we have a look at the US 30, you'll see we actually had a bullish engulfing pattern yesterday and we're still going great guns this morning with us above the 21 period SMA. The other technicals are still relatively neutral, but it looks to be a slight shot in the arm to, uh, to start our Thursday morning. Then looking at the UK 100, a great candle yesterday, another positive um, bit of momentum this morning breaking through 6073 and above that 21 period moving average with 6073 now potentially acting as potential support we could be looking at 6296 or basically 6300 as the next potential resistance for the uk 100. Um, we actually have a whole uh, host of uh, other data due today it's not just about chinese pmi we do have uh, german eurozone and uk and us pmi and we've got unemployment claims in America um, to finish up the, uh, the day. And of course, tomorrow brings us to non-farm payrolls, the most important macroeconomic data release of the month. And this one's gonna be quite keenly watched. And yesterday's um, ADP private payrolls came in slightly better than expected with 200,000 jobs uh, created. And if you just look at the forecast for that ADP private payroll number, they were expecting 194, so a marginal beat, but a beat nonetheless. So then looking at Japan 225, uh, not such a, not as strong as gains as what we've seen in the US and the UK 100. It could be a slight recovery in mining stocks that are helping to push that up a little bit higher, but we're still in positive territory, breaking above 17,500. So then moving on to the uh, Japan, uh, sorry, dollar Japanese yen, uh, very similar to the last few days, not really that exciting if I'm completely honest oscillating around the 21 period SMA, but above 119, which is expected to act as potential support. But we are now trading between two ranges. So then finishing up with uh, West Texas crude, scraping ever higher towards potential resistance at uh, 45.85. Inventory data actually came in higher than expected, but it seems to be that, which normally would be negative for, uh, for crude oil. But what we have now seen is that um, following on from yesterday, where people were kind of buying up the last little bit of equities to finish up their, uh, their, their quarter, that West Texas crude has benefited from that last bit of window dressing. Now, looking at gold, it looks to be with the ADP private payroll number coming in slightly better than expected, now that people are thinking that non-farms will be better than expected. And that's uh, given the dollar a little bit of an increase, but has also given gold a bit of con uh, cause for concern. Um, because gold's sensitive to U.S. interest rates, uh, you can see there the acceleration to the downside. That is traders now betting that um, perhaps on uh, due to Friday's non-farm payroll numbers coming in strongly, that uh, U.S. interest rates might in fact be increased this year, which has quite a big knock-on effect on the yellow metal. So trading below both moving averages, the next potential support, if we draw that on now, is just at the tip of this candle, and that's round about let's just say it's 1,100. Uh, but we're a little bit away from there right now. Almost a head and shoulders formation, but at the bottom of a downtrend, it doesn't really count. So then looking at Euro dollar and GBP USD to finish things off, you can see the dollar has wrestled control from the Euro again with a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday and another trading towards the bottom end of our range this morning with one spot 11 being the next potential support. And then finishing up with GBP USD is continued to grind lower below one spot 51.85 with one spot 48.13 being the next potential support. So as ever guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.